Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is the Zook Family Reunion at Lakeside, Ohio, USA, 2001. And that was from Saturday, August 25th to Saturday, September 1st. Peter J. Ray. We arrived about 4 o'clock p.m. Greg, Gina, Victoria, and Chris Lacey already here. It's a sunny day. Later. Peter J. Ray. John, Ruth, Patty, Peter, Greg, Gina, Victoria, and Chris Lacey went to Abigail's tea room for dinner. The service was exceedingly slow. I asked Greg what it's like to win the World Series, the Yankees. John, Lisa, and Madeline arrived when we were gone. The Elvis impersonator performed at the Hoover Auditorium. On the porch at night, Greg Lacey read ZFMC excerpts, and Victoria read quiz, quiz questions. Sunday, August 26th, Victoria Bourbeau. I'm watching the guys play poker as usual, nothing new to them. Tomorrow is the big annual shuffleboard tournament. I can't wait. I hope I beat Peter this year. I think I might let him win one more time, though. Peter J. Ray. Lenore's memorial service. Lenore Zook Hughes' memorial service was held at 2.30 p.m. at the Lakeside United Methodist Church, and the family all went. John Ray, Jim Zook, and George Ann... George Ann Cummings spoke about Lenore. <coughs> Nancy and Ty Tyler and Cheryl Myers were there. Later, we all went to Nate Nate's for the big family dinner. Jim and Katie related some interesting family anecdotes about John Reidenbaugh and Lenore, etc. Later, a big poker game was played back at the house. Monday, August 27th. Greg Lacey. The annual shuffleboard tournament was held this afternoon. The winner of the 2001 hunk of cheese was John Ray and Greg Lacey. That's me. It was a hard-fought match against Gina and Patricia, but we held on for the victory. Lots of activities today. Gina, Peter, and Victoria played tennis. A large group played putt-putt. Greg, Chris, John Ray, and Patricia took a dip in Lake Erie. The water was very low, only six feet deep off the dock. Gina and Greg took a scenic bike tour around Lakeside. Dinner at Hotel Lakeside with all. Bob Kinsey arrived in the late afternoon. It's good to see him. A walk to the patio after dinner by all, after a walk on the dock, of course. Tin roofs and, sun tin ro roofs and Sundays were the norm. Poker in the evening. John Ray had the table turned towards him. I think he won 90% of the pots. A beautiful day in Lakeside once again. A wonderful time to catch up with relatives. Relive past Lakesides. Enjoy the relaxation and outdoors. And be thankful for the wonder of family. Christopher Lacey, Tuesday, August 28, 2001. Everyone was up early to watch the Rays head off for Marion, Ohio for Lenora's graveside service. The presentation of the cheese was officiated by Peter Ray, with the recipients Greg Lacey and John Ray smiling for pictures and video. I was glad to be a part of Lakeside again after such a long absence. It was great to see everyone again and relive past experiences of Lakeside. Some new things. The sunset cruise on a replica pirate ship we saw but missed. A ride on. New cabinets and windows in the shy cottage, some comfortable old things, the bird cage and swing on the porch, shuffleboard, putt putt, the patio and hotel, the dock and bells, poker, not my game. Even though I lost at shuffleboard, putt putt, and I'm not lucky at poker, I know I'm lucky in many other ways with such a wonderful, calming place to return to, and such a wonderful, caring family to get to know better year after year. Peter, it was nice to talking to you again, and you also, Patricia. Peter, check out a few websites if you can. Christopher Lacey. Lisa Bryant Lacey. 
Madeline and I are enjoying a final swing on the front porch. The car is packed. We played Daddy, Mommy, and Maddie at the beach this morning. Maddie's favorite activity is playing in the sand. She enjoyed seeing all the relatives. It really is a wonderful thing for her to get to know her relatives. We really can see where we are from and going through visits with family. John Lacey It's wonderful beginning a new millennium here at Lakeside. I came with my parents and grandma, Helen Lacey, many years ago. Many years ago. Now I have the privilege of bringing my family to this place of renewal. So many wonderful memories packed away and so many memories to be created. We will return next year, hopefully for a longer visit. John Lacey God bless us, everyone. Tiny Tim Peter J. Ray Well, the Laceys are gone, so it's pretty quiet now. John, Ruth, Patty, and Peter drove down to Marion for Lenore's burial. We saw Carol, Kathy, and Lisa Wiesenhauer and took photographs of headstones. Thomas F., Zook, Helen, etc. Then we went over to Windsor Street. Peter went inside 373 Windsor Street. A family from West Virginia is living there. Very friendly people. We drove through Bucyrus, pronounced Bucharest, by Jim Mudcat Grant of the Cleveland Indians. Bob Kinsey I arrived at Lakeside 24 hours ago and had a whirlwind visit with Victoria. I promised to come earlier in the future. I just swam an up for an hour in Lake Erie. No clouds this afternoon, no haze. The Lake Erie Islands look mighty inviting. We'll have to take the ferry this week. Would like to lose a little weight while on vacation. Notice to one and all I am available for walks and tennis. The house is very quiet right now. Everyone was up early. Presumably they're all napping before dinner. I'll have the, the salmon tonight. What a good value, a deluxe meal at a popular price, and the good cholesterol and all that. Wednesday, August 29, 2001, Patricia A. Ray. Yesterday was quite a day in terms of family memories. We had the graveside service for, for Lenore's burial. She is buried next to Dale and her parents and her sister Mary and husband Frank. We visited two other family sites in the cemetery, including the Civil War veteran, Thomas Felton Zook, who is next to Helen and Tommy. A big Zook monument shared with the Bowen family. I read, that Gertrude's, I read Gertrude's memoirs and figured out that one of the Civil War veterans' five sisters was married to a Bowen. Also, Helen's third son, Conrad, is buried there. Katie mentioned that Grandma Hecker had two children who drowned by falling in a well while she was out being a midwife. Dr. Hecker and his two wives were there, too. We visited Windsor Street in Marion, Ohio, where Dad was born and grew up. We saw the meteor in his front yard. I remember hearing about this meteor when I was a little girl. Dad said it doesn't look as big as it used to. We also saw Grandma Zook's house. Peter talked to the current residents, two families from West Virginia. We drove by the Methodist church Dad went, went to with his family. Everything is German and Methodist here, in contrast to the Episcop Episcopal and Anglo-Canadian influence of my mother. The Laceys left yesterday. It's really quiet now. They were lots of fun. Madeline is a doll. We hope they'll stay longer next year. Peter and I played tennis yesterday, and we swam in the lake in Lake Erie with Bob Kinsey. Bob Kinsey. Wednesday, August 29, 2001. Something must be said for Wednesday. We miss our friends from New York. The weather was exceptional today. Clear, cool, and sunny. I swam 90 minutes and played a bit of tennis. Also slept in, was a bit tired, Tuesday. Reading The Plain Dealer is fun. Cleveland is my hometown. I don't find the same warp from the Detroit newspapers. Dinner was at home tonight. I had a very simple ramen noodle and a small can of tuna. The dessert was a large, juicy apple. The sundown was glorious. 
I sat in the lifeguard chair for nearly an hour. Not many people on the pier tonight. Tomorrow I'll see the animation film Shrek. I like lakeside movies, the summer hits, the ones I did, didn't get around to seeing. There is a TV here in the cottage, but we don't use it. I do listen to the Cleveland Indians games on my little radio. It has a one-inch speaker, and that is adequate. Peter and I are now going for a can of pop and a walk. Home run, Cleveland Indians. Bob Kinsey. Thursday, August 30th, 2001. Peter J. Ray. Running, walking, talking, eating, meditating, swimming, tennis, reading ZFMCs and old letters. Mark calling on the telephone. The Cleveland Indians sweeping the Boston Red Sox. The Lacey's not here. Walking on the dock. That about covers it. Lakeside, Ohio. The way the whole world should be. Friday, August 31st, 2001. Peter J. Ray. Got some rain. Red letters. Went swimming. Walked with Bob Kinsey. And watched the Cleveland Browns on television. And the Cleveland Indians on the radio. Saturday, September 1st, 2001. Bob Kinsey. Last entry at Lakeside. We vacuumed all the carpets. Going for an hour's swim when we lock up. Hordes of people today. Was so quiet this week. Peter is riding with me to Rocky River. It will be my first trip to Cleveland this summer. Three more weeks before the equinox. Saturday, September 1st, 2001. John S. Ray. Another great reunion week at Lakeside, Ohio. Good company, good weather, good time. Sorry Mark and Terry could Mark and Terry could not come. Patricia and Peter playing very strong tennis. Lenore's m- memorial service at Lakeside and graveside service in Marion. And aunt whom I will always remember with, with great affection. Wonderful to have Greg and John Lacey and their families present. Great to be able to Swim off the north side of the north arm of the, of the dock. The rent was reduced and we got, got down dr- during the week and the gate was down during the week before Labor Day. Greg and John won the shuffleboard. Baby Swiss cheese. Looking forward to 2002. John S. Ray. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Zook, the Zook Family Reunion at Lakeside, Ohio, USA 2001. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you next time.